Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 2 Uberhood. We are here with Alexandra Omaki. This is the second Omaki household that we have to play in this Uberhood. Um, she is the ex-wife of Gabe Omaki and the mother of Jules Omaki. And I have a very big suspicion of why Patricia has declined Ju um, Gabe's invitation or like proposal to get married. And I think it's because she's friends with Alexandra. So I think that had something to do with it. But she really hates Gabe. She really does. And I kind of feel bad. I kind of feel bad that Gabe kind of got played a little bit. So yeah, she lives here in this little house. Uh, we do need to do her road. Oh, what's wrong? Hold up. Um, what happened? Okay, she's gonna resume it. Um, she's got this little pond, a little gardening area, this little, like, thing. I don't know. I don't know what you call that. But that's the Omaki, other Omaki household we were just playing. Um, so we're just literally right down the street. We're literally right down the street. We're neighbors. We're neighbors. Um, I am going to put the road pieces in because I'm tired of seeing the road look like this. And I forgot to do it, so I'm going to do it now. Uh, yep. You know what? As much as I love stars and the moon, I really appreciate that the, uh, the move object's on is the moon. I appreciate that. All right, so Alexandra is cooking while Patricia is watching her TV. Which is fine. She does want to tell a joke to Jules, so it means that she wants to hang out with her daughter, and she wants to gain a skill point. And she also is a dread pirate, but she needs a body skill. So I've locked it in, because I really do want her to get the body skill. So maybe, you know, she could potentially get a promotion. I don't know if she can, because she's level six. She's not went to college, so. Eh, mm, probably can't. But it is 1.30 in the morning and she's not tired and I think that's because she might have um, gotten kicked out of whatever she was doing. Well, she wasn't even sleeping, so why is she so energized? Let's put it down. It's 1.30 in the morning, okay? She literally works in the morning. Or is it 9 in the morning? Not, <coughs> not today, but... Oops, I went. She does work in the morning. It's kind of weird. I'm also going to install this for her. And so, I think once we put this in here, we're going to clean up. And then I think we'll send Patricia on home. And then I think we're going to go to bed. Because it's that time. And she's got flamingos on her bed. So that's fitting. I went with the blue... Um... I don't know what pack this is, the whatever set this is, like the old people set. So I did the blue flamingos to match it, which I thought was cute. Clean up. All right, when we wake up, we'll clean up the spaghetti. Um, clean that up. And then we'll go from there. So yeah, she's going to go ahead and go to bed. And I'm going to go ahead and cut out. And I'll be back when she's getting up. Alright, so she is getting up on out of bed. She's going to clean up that stinky plate. We'll let her take care of her needs in the bathroom. What was the skill she needed? Body. Okay. This and take a shower. She also wants to invite her daughter over and talk to her and play with her. So she's really got jewels on the brain today, which is fine. It's weird that she has two bathrooms, but I mean, it is what it is, you know? We're going to recycle this n this newspaper that's near the house and uh, get ready for work. I think we're going to be leaving for work. Oh, no. She doesn't work today. That's right. Well, maybe we can invite Jules over, but she's going to be at school until 1. So we would have to call her around, around like, 1, 1 1.30 to be able to invite her over. So we're not going to do that right now. We're going to hold off. Aww. Oh, my gosh. The hat. Um, she's a little bit, um, needy for the fun, but that's okay. We're gonna have her work out for a little bit and try and get her athletic skill up if we can. Hopefully we can. 
She is a popularity sim as well, by the way. And her secondary... I think I forgot to tell you guys this. But her secondary is knowledge. And she is eccentric, insane, flirty, commitment issues. And she's a born saleswoman. Well, that's good. Why can't we take these out of here? Oh, we can. These are her, like, sculptures. I don't really know what I would do with these. I mean, I guess we could set them outside. This one... Mm, set it there. Adds value to the house, I guess. Uh, we don't really have a table to put this on, so I'm going to have to hold on to that one. Uh, or that. Or that. Okay. So, we don't really have tables for those. Um, I thought you were working out. Oh, no, our TV just broke. All right, let's see if she can repair it. Does she have any handiness skill? She does. Okay, so she should be able to repair it so we can work out. Okay. Why would you stab it with a screwdriver? <laughs> Work out. Alright. So she's gonna go ahead and work out. She does have a thing out here. She likes fitness, obviously. Um, a tree. Uh, like a planted apple tree or whatever. Orange tree. So we'll have to tend that when it becomes time. But right now, we're okay. Um, 200 is added to bills and subtracted from her child support behind payment accounts. Ugh. So what's our bills? I'm scared to know. Because she has to pay 200 for child support. Alright, so we'll have her get the mail. But first, I want her to get the, the skill point. Who is this? Vansy Tom Tomjoy. Is it Tom Gyoi or Voy? I think it's Y O Y. How would you say Y O Y? Yoi? I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna speed her up until she like can't do this anymore. Cause her hygiene, or not her hygiene. Yeah, her hygiene's going down really quick, but her fitness isn't going up that fast. So it's gonna be a little while. Uh, we'll work out until maybe around 1, and then we can stop and get ready to invite Jules over and talk with her and stuff. Plus, we gotta take care of Bills. Alright, so fitness is her thing, so hopefully we're going in the right direction here. She does need the body for her work, though, so that's why we're building it. Um, so yeah, it's working out pretty much what the whole episode for her has been so far is working out <laughs> but that's okay all right we'll stop her here in a few seconds i'm gonna tell her to get the mail and stop and we'll have her shower and such she's feeling good though i think she's getting fit so she's feeling good about herself she already is fit never mind so she's probably just gonna max out the bar <laughs> she'll be really fit all right, you can go ahead and put it on the ground because I'm just going to instantly pay it, but I can't. So our bills are 68 simoleons, but now they're 268 from the fact that we have to pay child support. So, yeah, unfortunate. And we don't have 268 simoleons to our name. We could probably sell, sell a trophy or something, but I feel like who Alexandra is is... Not someone who would sell her prized possessions to pay for child support. She would suffer. She would rather be in debt than, you know, uh, pay that bill. Because, if you don't know, she didn't just leave her husband. She also left her daughter. Um, when she went to become a dread pirate, she just up and dipped on both of them. So, that's unfortunate. But it is what it is. All right, we're going to invite her over. We can't pay our bills. I feel like we should maybe just bring them in. Into the house. So they're not just sitting on the side of the road. 
knock knock. Ah. Right. That's kind of why sometimes I like to let them bring the bills into the house before I sell them or pay them, because then if they needed, you know, to um, if they couldn't afford them, they're inside. All right, we're just waiting on Jules to arrive. She said she'd be over. There she is. Go ahead and greet Jules. And she does want to play with her, so maybe we'll like tickle her or something. I don't know. They are friends. Shelby, you walked past my house two or three times now. I can't tell. But you need to stop it. Play tickle. <laughs> I mean, it is her daughter, you know? So, I think I want to get a picture of her tickling her. I think it'd be cute. There we go. <laughs> Man, that's literally all she wanted to do with her daughter. That's sad. All right, is she getting hungry or something? She's a little bit hungry, and she wants to eat some lunch meat sandwiches. So we'll go ahead and serve lunch. We'll make up some lunch meat sandwiches. That's what I had for lunch today. My kids have lunch meat sandwiches, but the silly thing is, is they don't really like bread or like mayo or anything like that. So they just eat like the meat and cheese. Oh, it's funny. Kids are funny. Alright, so Jules is just going to watch my TV. Um, hopefully she'll eat with us and they'll talk while eating and it'll build that friendship a little bit more. Though it is very good. 93 compared to her ex-husband who is a negative 36. It's fantastic. Also, she does have a little bit of an attraction for Andrew. So that's good. Call to meal guests. Alright. I thought you might have been abducted by aliens or something. No, we weren't abducted by aliens. She wants to learn a lot of things. So we'll have to... We'll have to definitely work on that a little bit. And I think Jules is also very fit. Which must be she takes up to her mom kind of in that aspect. But, yeah, must feed them up while they're eating. That's because it's them just eating and talking. can be lengthy. Alright, so we'll go ahead and put this away. And then I'll have her clean up. Because we don't want a dirty house. Keep off. And then I think we're going to use the bathroom real quick. Just to keep our bladder full. And then, um, yeah, we might work out again for a little bit. To try and build that body skill a bit more. Now that her needs are taken care of, uh, would be a good time. Alright, wash your hands. Or not, wash the dishes. And then maybe we can wash our hands to get a little bit of hygiene back. And then I think I'm gonna have her go ahead and work out with the TV again. So her daughter is gonna have to stop using the TV. All right, we're gonna turn this off. Oh no. Oh no. All right, and now we are gonna work out. Work out. All right, here we go. And, oh, of course the phone would ring. And now we're 36 days away from aging up. Man, she's not even close, is she? Alright, answer the phone. <sighs> answer, and then maybe we could repair. Who is that again? What's his name? Artemis, man. Peter. Ooh, she has three bolts of Peter. Oh, my Lancer. He is a romance sim. Um, yeah, I think she would just leave her daughter, honestly. So we'll go downtown for sure. Alright, before you go, though, let's have you change your outfit to your everyday. Change into your everyday. So she doesn't go in her athletic clothes. Can you imagine? You're freaking fantastic. Alright, let's, um... I don't know where I really want to go. 
let's go to let's go bowling let's go bowling it's gonna be fantastic fantastic bowling Alright, here we go. And our bills are still 268 simoleons that we can't afford. Well, we can afford some of it. But not all of it. Like, we just don't have 268. But, it's all good. It's all good. Alright, so I'm going to actually cut out and I'll be back when she's downtown at the lot. Alright. So we are here. And she ah, wants you. to ah. play with Peter. She also wants to ask Sim on date. And I'm not sure if that means Peter or not. Okay, so play Tickle, maybe. Is that his wife? Oh, he brought his whole family. Hmm, fantastic. Okay. <laughs> Um, appreciate him. Okay. Go ahead and admire him. I think she might have a thing for Peter. I mean, she does have three bolts for him. Um, entertain him with a dirty joke. He's a romance sim. He'll love it. She also does want a smuggle dance. But right now, we're just going to talk with Peter. Yeah, we know you're attracted to him, okay? We get it. All right, tickle him. Do the sexy tickles. <laughs> David's coming out here like, Daddy, you coming in? All right, tell a joke to him and appreciate him. Entertain him with another dirty, dirty joke. And we'll appreciate, and this time we'll do a back rub. What are the kids doing? They're like, Dad, why are you doing all this? Why are they all coming outside? It's creepy. It's really creepy. Even his wife and his mom. Alright, tickle. We'll do play. Tickle. Oh my gosh, she's rolling all the things for him. Entertain him. Tell him a joke. Alright, we'll tell him a joke. They're probably like, why are you not coming inside? They're probably so confused. So appreciate. Right, we'll appreciate him. Give him another back rub. Oh my goodness. I do think this is about him. She wants to tickle him again. Play. Tickle. Um, tell a joke and entertain. Since it just says a joke, I'm going to do just a normal old joke. Everyone's inside having fun bowling and we're out here just tickling each other constantly. <laughs> Charlotte's coming back out here. Uh -huh. All right. Why does everyone keep coming out here? Go ahead and admire him. I don't know why they keep coming out here. It's so weird. It's like they're checking in on us. Make sure we're not flirting. Like they suspect he would. That's kind of sad. Oh my gosh, is she just going to keep rolling the same thing? Tell a joke and entertain. She just keeps rolling the same thing. It's kind of annoying. Okay. Well, um, I think we're going to go in and play some pool. We're going to play some pool. What are they doing? Wait, what were they doing? What were they doing? Were they going to... That's sketchy. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna play this. He thinks she's attractive too, so there you go. 
Ooh. It's not just one sided. There's Rose. Pregnant Rose here, eating. <laughs> she just couldn't stay home. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess some pregnant Samantha's here too. Hello, everyone get out of the way. I'm trying to play this. I'm trying. It's not working. Alright. Okay, so Reagan just met David, and it looks like she's about to meet Samantha. So she's meeting some of the people from this town, because she's from Veronaville. Oh my gosh, the little bit of lag that I can see is really irritating me. And I don't want to spoil anything from my channel, but like I said, I do have some uh, big surprises coming up for my channel and for you guys. Um, just kind of waiting for it to all uh, get finished and done with. And then uh, it'll drop and you guys will be like, wow, so amazing. And I'll be like, I know. <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> into it so it's gonna be great it's gonna be great can't wait all right so we're having some fun we are kind of hungry we need comfort we need energy we need hygiene we need environment we need a lot of things but maybe we can get some food when our since our fun is kind of full and the whole family is here and it's kind of awkward maybe we can come over here and order some food uh, do I have to ask to be seated? Ah, uh, be seated. Oh, I want to be seated at the counter. Be seated at the counter. We're hungry. Not that we should really be buying food, honestly. Oh, Rose is just staring at us. Creepily. Creepily staring at us. Okay, I want to be seated at the counter, please. Please and thank you, sir. Oh my goodness, even David is. I'm sorry, but all our tables are currently full or reserved by another group. Feel free to come back later. Oh. Alright, fine. We're gonna have to end this casual group then because she's getting too tired to do this anymore. So, love flower sack, baby. That's so sad. Um, did I say romance sponge mop lover? Oh, okay. Um,. Gather your casual group all cheesed out. Displeased displeasured. I don't even know what those are. Alright, end this. I don't know. It's getting weird with the whole family. Anyways. It's freaky. It's freaky. Alright, go ahead and call a taxi. Thanks for a fun group. Uh, this is a fun group of people. Thanks for getting us together. It's literally your own family. So, yeah, Samantha is still pregnant, I think, with the twins. I don't think she's had them yet, because technically, I've only played a day. So, I think once we play that lot, I think she's gonna, like, pop, like, instantly. Alright, we're gonna go back home. It's going great, though. It's going great. What the... <laughs> what? What the love guru or whatever she's called? Gypsy? Is that what she's called? Gypsy? Alright. We're ready to go down back home, please. Por favor. What roads are these? Kind of cool. They don't have any lines in the center. Wow. I can't wait to remodel downtown. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be so much fun to see this world come, come to life. You know? Hopefully it doesn't, like, explode before. Because of all the babies and things. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to let her go ahead and head on home, and I will catch up with you guys when she is back at her house. So I'll be back with you guys in just a second. All right, so I got her home, and I just had her go right to sleep because she was so tired. I figured it wasn't even worth coming back for like a split second to tell you that's what I was going to do. So she's getting up. Her carpool is going to be here in about an hour, so we need to get her ready. Well, 10 minutes, really. So this is probably all she's going to get to do is go to the bathroom and take a shower. She's not going to get any food. Um, she really had to go potty though, so I couldn't like, you know, skip out. And she's kind of really stankin'. <sighs> so she's in a little bit of a bad situation, but hopefully they'll feed her at work and she'll do great. Um, her sink is still busted in the kitchen, so that's unfortunate because it's just spraying water everywhere. And, uh, we still owe our bills. So hopefully we make enough money today to be able to pay that. And then when we get home, we could pay it and then, you know, move forward with our lives. 
So yeah, I'm going to have her head off to work and hope that things go well for her today at work. And maybe she, well, she won't get a promotion because she didn't get that body skill yet, did she? All right, so we'll have to keep waiting. I don't know if she can get another promotion. That's also a thing. Like, I'm not sure if she can get a promotion. I know you're hot from the shower. But it is winter, so you should appreciate being really warm in the winter. Okay, so she's off to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut out while she's at work. And I'll be back when she's getting out of work for the rest of her day. Okay, so she's home. And it looks like we need to talk to Patricia. Yes, she can bring Morty home if she would like. Um, she brought 435 simoleons, so we should be able to pay the bills. And we're also going to recycle the newspaper that's outside. Um, she does want to invite someone over, and she wants to be friends with Samantha. So we might go ahead and call up Samantha and invite her over. And I want to try and repair this if I can. We could also greet Priya, which is the Ramaswamy's, um, Sanjay, Ra Sanjay Ramaswamy's wife. So we could, we could, you know, introduce ourselves to her as well and greet her. That would be nice. And then we'll call over a Sim. We'll call over Samantha to become our friend. All right, so we finally paid our child support and we paid our bills. So that's great. Still 300 simoleons to our name. Invite over Samantha. There she is. Invite her over. And we'll chit chat with Samantha for a little while. Become friends with her. Oh, they've forbidden her from leaving the house today. Okay. Good. Repair the sink. That'd be fantastic. Must speed her up while she repairs it because it's a very long, lengthy process. And, you know, I don't really want to sit here while she does it. So. It'd be fantastic. All right, perfect. Now, let's also have her mop up this huge puddle on the floor. Looks like Morty has to go to the bathroom, so that's fine. We'll get him in just a second. She doesn't want to become friends with Samantha, so maybe we could call and just chat with her on the phone, get our social up. Oh, he does not think Priya is, is good looking. He thinks she is disgusting. That's fine. She's married. You're married. All good. <laughs> That's how I see it. Okay, so call up Samantha. We're going to chat with her on the phone. We'll chit chat with her for a little while. See if we can become friends. Um, is this kind of weird, though? I feel like it's kind of weird. The reason I feel like it's kind of weird is because she's very attracted to her husband. And to the fact that she kept pulling that she wanted to go on a date when she was talking with him. So... It just seems awkward. But it's okay. We're also going to call another sim. We're going to call... Actually, you know, we could change, make this a three-way. And we're going to add in um, Patricia. Patricia. Because they could all chit-chat together. You should try calling back when Patricia isn't at work. Oh, okay. That's fine. Like, I know when she works, though. You know? I don't know when she works. I have no idea. I can't keep track of everyone's schedules. Could you imagine? If I had that great of a memory, holy cannoli. I'd be rich. Why is Gabe here? Okay, hold up. Hold up. We gotta greet Gabe. He's gained so much weight. Why is he out here reading our newspaper? Um. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, he just poked us. Rude. Very rude. All right, we're going to call up Samantha again. To chat with her some more. Get off my front yard, then. <laughs> Get off my front yard. Um, we'll call Samantha. There we go. And we're just gonna talk some more. Oh, Trying to become friends with her, obviously. Uh, Alright, so Gabe is gonna talk with Morty. That's fine. Just don't be mean to me, you know? Don't be mean to me. I didn't do anything to you. Alright, hopefully we're gonna become friends. Who out of all of you guys in, in the, like, comments thinks... Alexandra is a good sim 
or like likes her character or her story or just like likes her looks. Let me know what you like about her. Interested. I think she's really pretty. I do think she has a good personality overall, per se. She's not very nice, but she's not that nice. Um, I don't know, I just like, I just like playing this family storyline. I think it's really cool that she, like, she was a woman, she went out for her dreams. But she unfortunately left her daughter behind. But now she's trying to like rekindle the, the friendship with her her daughter, and I kind of I kind of think that's nice. I kind of think that's nice. What are these guys doing? Is he seriously gonna steal from us? That's the um kleptomaniac trait coming out of him. He's really gonna steal 150 of our smallies. Hmm. Waffly Garsh? Well, there goes our money. Use this. Clean it. Clean this. Take a shower. Okay. That's my timer. So, finish off her day. This is day two for her, so we only have one more day with her. Ah, interesting. Okay, so let's get her to clean up her bathroom a bit. I'm also going to turn this off because it's very loud. Oh, well, you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm just going to turn this off. I think this will get rid of it. There we go. No, that doesn't get rid of the TV sounds. I, I knew that. I don't know why I thought that did. All right, we're also going to say goodbye to everyone. It is 9.30 at night. Uh, we actually need to eat dinner first, don't we? Oh, she's about to recognize that he stole her wallet. So I think we are going to um, slap him. And then we are going to ask him to leave. Um, we'll just ask everyone to leave. All right, so she's going to recognize her wallet is missing. And the only one out of the three that she's really interacted with is Gabe. And as much as she hates him, I think she would just slap him and ask him to leave for the match. Like, that's for stealing my money. Oh, okay. Now get out of my house. I just think she'd be really mad. Like, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are coming here, reading my newspaper, stealing my monies? All right, eat some spaghetti. Eat some of that good old sweet spaghetti. Oh, did it not work? We just made it, though. Sometimes this happens. It's weird. Please don't disappear. Oh, my Lancer. All right. Well, we're going to do this two more times. And then we're going to do it a third time to get our actual food out. What else do we have in here? Lunch me a sandwich. Please tell me this is going to work. Oh my goodness. I don't want to sit here all day and do this. Okay. You know what? Serve him some bread. It's going to be great. Serve bread. Can we just like clear? I wish it was just like a clear leftovers thing. But there's not. Okay, when she's done, I'm going to let her put away the leftovers. And then she's going to go to bed. And that will be the end of her day. Yes. Going well. Let's speed her up through this. Because it's just bread. And it's just eating. It's not anything entertaining to watch, really. All right, so let's get her in bed. Alrighty. And there we go. All right, so if you guys enjoyed this, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. In the description below is all of my social media links, so definitely check those out. Leave a comment down below if you think Gabe stole her money for any particular reason. Or if it was just because he hates her. And also, uh, don't forget to follow me over my Twitch channel where I live stream every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. And also, d oh no, don't forget to, um, don't forget to, <laughs> he's flustering me. 
uh, check out my Discord channel where you can join and share all your stuff. And we would love to see you guys there. And I will talk to you guys in my very next one. Thanks very much for watching.